I'm not intro. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not intro in any. I think there's no intro to be had. Here. No intro to be had. All we're right, just I in Copenhagen. Know. We're online, yeah, man. We're... Welcome. The teams are behind us. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, the Copenhagen Games unofficial landcast. Oh, this is uh, me, Bum, and Wandam here, of course, as well. We had to bring you week six, I believe. Of yeah, it's well. probably week six. I think it's week yes. six. We did our we did our. Uh, in true Copenhagen <laughs> Games fashion, the Counter Strike guys are way too loud. Yeah, the Counter Strike guys are being loud once again at uh, Copenhagen Games 2023. Yeah, but yeah, this is New Panzer versus TF2 Easy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna turn off motion blur if you want to outside real quick, random. Yeah, so we are currently using the default TF2 config. I just had to set the resolution from the lowest it can go. We are now disabling motion blur. <laughs> this is gonna crash our game. We're gonna have to like start everything all over again. No, it's oh, fine. it worked. Oh, we no actually way. like the the spectator settings are better than what I was expecting to be working with. There's like name tags and stuff. Like there I are name tags, but the problem, problem is that we cannot see what health Marlexi has. We can't. Oh, we do see server time left, but only only when we press. Tab. <laughs> only when we tap. I'm gonna be honest. I have the exact same thing at home. Okay. I never fine. bothered to change my HUD, so I just have to tab every time. I just have round time. Really. I love the uh, the default HUD. We basically have like default match HUD at the very top of the screen. Tiny little icons of the classes and their yeah. health. So that's gonna be nice. I feel like it will be impossible to keep track of the percentages. Um, we'll just... I mean, there's no. HUD element to but show we have a medic main here, so you're going to be counting both. Oh yeah, anyway. I'm going to be counting really well. I haven't had anything know. to drink. Okay, <laughs> is that like an advanced option, please? Are you bringing chat yeah. up on your phone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, awesome. My phone also has like 10% battery, so you guys are going to leave in like 10 minutes because I need my phone to get home. <laughs> do you want the uh, Do you want the game audio? I've got J Max in one ear. Oh, you I can have, have a game audio, audio guys. I'm putting on a gamer headset. Actually, never mind because the wires. Oh, are the wire is so short. <laughs> No, because the wire is like nice. That's okay. fine. We figured it. Problem this solving. This is so loud. Problem solving. <laughs> <laughs> this is the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. Jumps. The game volumes. Okay. <laughs> Where wait, is? Wait, wait, we just is... type volume in console like normal people. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Okay. What's it say? One one hundred percent game volume. <laughs> Get that it? shit on point two. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Put it on, let's see. We're going live in 90 seconds. Okay, We're going so live in 90 seconds. Pre-game analysis. Uh, who do you think comes out on top here? New Panzer versus TF2 Easy, because- uh... I think I think we're playing Snake Water. Okay. So this means that Nubby won't be able to just do Nubby things. So I think maybe New Panzer actually win. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Well, I'm... I mean, I know I'm... that Hugo is, uh, is confident that they can beat TF2 Easy in this one, but I don't- I don't know. I still have TF2 Easy pinned as that second place team yeah. this season, so I think so too. I'm gonna be honest. But okay. like, I have to I have to give them I have to give them the benefit of the doubt, man. These guys, they're good. This shocky guy. Shocky he's like, he's been... old enough to be my dad, and he's still just the best player in Prem somehow. Who's this player? We don't get their name tags. Okay, so whoever we were last spectating, their name tag didn't show. That's it's cool. Voxy That's by process of elimination. Yeah. Shocky's right there. Cool. Screen. Okay. We've got everything sorted out, guys. This is probably the highest budget cast you'll ever see. We had to spend, what was it, 60 krona to get in yeah, here? Yeah, 60 krona. So, guys, if anyone could, like, give me, like, an unusual something. Yeah. We, we or just, like, drive to me on Twitch. Yeah, like, Enigma doesn't pay for this shit. You get this out of our pockets. This is our pocket. <laughs> We're live in 31. Um, any any predictions? I, okay, J Max, do you have the maps? Do you know what we're playing after Snake Water? Snake and Gully. Do you? Uh... We're never. We we are going to sit on last for 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. I think that is my prediction. I'm going to be completely honest. Well, here we go. We're live into the first mid. This is New Panzer versus TF2 Easy. Both teams rolling out. Snake Water, you've got. You've still got TF2 Easy winning this one. I think so, honestly. This is a this is a team that's been together for a long time. It should be much easier for them. I think, honestly, the team synergy should come ahead. Despite having replaced one of their players, Gazi, with Nikki, should still be fine. And uh, Jean getting pinched as well. Never, never forget. Yeah. Also getting pinched for Jean. 
we are we are live. I just did a thing for the camera. I have no idea if the camera is still on the way. But uh, there's a little bit of a soldier exchange up top. Nothing too bad so far. This is a really slow mid. Neither team really aggressing. It's a soldier 1v1 on the flank there. Nobody just bombs forward. It's fine anything. Just a disky finally going down there tomorrow. Likes it. He's gonna die instead. And now Shocky taking 1v1 with Nikki on the flank here. As neither team has really gone forward. Nubby is all alone on the enemy side. And that's gonna spell the end of the mid. No one there to follow him up. And uh... Josh is hiding in a corner. Yeah, Josh is just trying to get that med pack, and uh, that's actually the reason why the, the aggression wasn't too great for TF2EZ. Puck all the way in with a huge sack, but not going to find that force onto June. But yeah, Nubby went forwards on that mid. He was uh, in deep trying to get some frags after that one-for-one -one trade happened of a disky for Kumu, but at the end, uh, Nubby was just left high and dry because Josh was way too low health to commit to that bomb as well. So it's pretty much a, a single soldier sack across the mid and Nubby just goes down. New Panzer take the mid at the end of that one. Puck with the unsuccessful sack, but looks like he's on spy just uh, checking for anything funny for now. We'll see if he actually moves out spawn. He's been very willing to play spy this season, actually. He's, he's been doing it quite a fair amount. He's actually not going to like to go for it right now. Not even sure, honestly, if that's the right play. I think at this point, maybe your team's too easy. You probably noticed that you haven't spotted a soldier at this point. You're probably going to be aware. Yeah, I mean, I mean, no one's really shown themselves at all from New Panzer, so I, I doubt they were counting players at that point. Also, Spy isn't usually something that you see off of like the first two minutes of gameplay of a map. Just the team instant spying into a into a stalemate. But here we go, we're seeing a double sack. Puck in right behind Shockey, yeah. in through lower as well. Puck trying to get on towards the point, but that doesn't work out. Shockey gets taken down as well. This is actually a play that TF2 Easy kind of came up with back in the Nerd Rage days. They'd run Yeehaw through lower in that situation. And now there's just a absolute bust into mid from morale. They force the Ubers out of red team. Trade is off, they managed to drop Joe from the Uber, so no demo for New Panzer after this one. Piggles looks like he's not going to be able to get out of this one alive. Does get cleaned up by Nubby. And now this is a very advantageous situation for Tier2Easy. This is such a good situation for them. They're sitting so nice on mid here. They're actually going to be able to push second as well. That late demo pick kill as well onto Piggles makes it so easy for them to just take second. They have a solid 40, almost 50% an advantage here for June. This is looking like a very pushable last tier for tier 3 You just have to set up. Make sure you don't lose your medic to the sniper up on Voxy right now. I was super impressed with how you just managed to see the Uber advantages. I've only just there, seen there, that there, there, there. Yeah, like there's crazy tiny numbers underneath the medic. <laughs> they are green and barely <laughs> legible. <laughs> yeah. Shocky has got that level 2 up in the middle. It's a disad sentry in the even Uber spot. We'll see how this works out as Morale busting in first. Nasboy oh, getting wow. sent sky high by the Sentry. Does manage to get passed by June just in time to stay alive. The Sentry's down, Puck's in deep, and he's going to pick up the frag onto uh, Nasboy. And now it looks like there's actually a pretty decent hold here for Red. Piggles is going to get bombed towards the end of the Uber. It's just two scouts on point trying to do anything that they can, but no, there's nothing to be said for the defense here. tf 2 easy secure the Uber charge advantage push, and they secure 1-0. 1-0 for tf 2 Easy. That was a really nice capitalization off of that mid-fight that they got. The end kill on the Piggles there really just allowed them to coast back into last. We've seen a lot of beef to last dad pushes this season, actually. I'm really happy to see tf 2 Easy come in, make that push work for them, and get that 1-0 lead. It could have so easily gone a different way. If, if Puck lands that rocket on the Nasboy one second earlier, Nasboy got, was so close to being dropped from that, seeing as the Sentry sent him pretty much straight up like a pencil into the skybox, but... We are second mid, completely new day for New Panzer. We'll see if they can take this round instead after they did take the mid fight last time. But once again, it's a super passive one. Neither team doing anything, really. Both of these teams are sitting so far back. Neither team, you see these soldiers, they're kind of flirting with going in. They're just not going. Nubby's sitting really far back on balcony here as well. Finally goes for the double jump here as he bombs forward, but just goes right back on his own side, gets spammed out, has to go back into choke. And that allows the Disky to bomb forward. He's only bombing the enemy kitchen though. Does absolutely zero damage. One bomb out of Nubby now comes forward. There's a little bit of damage to Joe, but also just lives. This mid is so slow. No one's dying but Puck. He's in behind it to sword, but the Uber now out of June. Yeah, the Uber out of uh, tf 2 Easy and Piggles still has 100%. 100. They're trying to run this one forwards. They do have Nasboy trapped in here. He's going to go down. Piggles still 100%. They do have to watch out. Both soldiers are behind for tf 2 Easy. Josh now bombing in onto the combo, but that's not going to work out. Nubby also bombing onto block. The midpoint gets taken down, and this is a massive, massive three picks and 100% Uber advantage. 
four. New Panzer now, they're already walking into last before anything's even set up. Morale hits a nice shot to stall this push just a little bit, but there's already time on point. Uber gets used out for pretty much no reason. They don't even need it. Everyone's still in spawn by the time New Panzer take this one, so it's all tied up. That's such a nice little log pop from Piggles there towards the end. Just <laughs> yeah. make sure it gets on the logs. Popped an Uber that round, no big deal. That was such a weird mid. I'm so confused about what TF2 Easy really were doing. It felt like Nubby going in like three times, but there's just no team anytime. It's yeah. just him bombing in. He doesn't hit the rockets on Joe either. It seems to be the case more often than not with, with TF2 Easy mids that it's just Nubby trying to make something work. Whether or not that's like a uh, a choice that the team makes is that Josh doesn't follow up on those ones until a bit later, but it, it does seem weird, as you as you mentioned, June's already taken quite a bit of spam so pillows on this mid, but neither team wants to commit off it. They are so happy to just sit and wait around for the perfect opportunity. And uh, Shocky gonna be the only one taking up top, but he's gonna get forced back down once again. Just both teams trading spam over the top. Adisky's the first one to kind of semi-commit, but again, it's, it's not a real commit. Just Straight back immediately. Josh now, the one deepest. They do manage to get him in behind oh, you. Gets served. Oh, she actually drops that Uber. Gets airshot out of the sky. And that's 100% oh, no. Uber down. Piggles has made it out, but he's lost the mid-fight for it. Voxy just running him all the way back to last. And TF2Easy are so hungry for this. Look, they're already all over this last point. Nubby might be caught in, but he does just bomb out. He gets back to safety. So tier too easy. They definitely have mid, but do they have seconds? This is a full advantage. Piggles looking to run this one through lower with the pockets. It's so weird though, this fight. I mean, honestly, they need to get this kill. The kill to Naspo is so big for them, but losing that scout as well. Shocky going down. It's two kills and they'll oh, make it three. Really nice capitalization there. Good bomb out of puck to get those players down on TF2 Easy, but they haven't found the med. June can stay alive here. She has an ad of her own here. I'd say they didn't pop well, the Uber. They didn't pop the Uber, exactly. I can't see Piggles... I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I saw a bunch of red <laughs> outlines. I'm like, they popped there. I don't blame you at all. Like, Piggles <laughs> survives the double soldier sat there and they still manage to maintain this ad. This is super impressive. They're pretty much coast coasting this as Piggles now on to second. This looks like a pause, and that is going to absolutely fuck us, ladies and gentlemen. We don't, we don't have casting essentials. If a pause happens on vanilla TF2, we are going to be absolutely fucked. You guys are just going to have to trust that we know what we're yeah, talking about. Like, the Uber percentages are going to freeze. Like Everyone's health is going to be frozen for the rest of the game. They're going to yeah. be sliding around like ragdolls. I may or may not find an opportunity to just go into console and type and retry. <laughs> yeah, but do... Okay, this a pause because New Panzer win the round? This is a pause because New Panzer win the round and someone on TF2 Easy is quote-unquote lagging. Yeah, I mean, Josh is lagging, I think. Josh hasn't been the smoothest player at moving I mean, through yeah. the sky. We have the default, like, you know... You know we don't you have, have numbers default, for this. <laughs> when you have default TF2 and it just shows you, like, the ping bars instead of the numbers, and everyone's green until you get to, like, 180 ping and then you go <laughs> yellow, yeah. and then you have to be on, like, 600 ping to go red, so yeah. like, everyone just looks normal ping to us. But, yeah, I, I feel like TF2 Easy did call this pause, according to... J Max on production. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him for having yeah. to deal with all of whatever's going on tonight. We did, we did, we did. I think we planned to be here like half an hour earlier than we were, <laughs> yeah. but then we ended up going to a music quiz at a bar, which we haven't we told him yet. He's finding out about this right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reason why we showed up so late. He's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> but He's like, mad at my ear right now. This yeah. is the LAN experience. I mean, at LAN you gotta go to a, got to go to a bar, gotta do a music. They play Mr. Brightside. I mean, we can't help it. It's, it's like just... Mr. Brightside and Wonderwall. Yep. The two songs that I actually managed to get. Most yep. of them were fucking Danish songs. They were all right? Danish songs, but the problem is that I didn't know what they were either. So I was sat there, I was just pretending to know what the girls were talking about. Alright, we've gotten in pause. We can go back into into the actual game here, but expect New Panzer to be winning this round. June just coming up onto 70% now on the last. I say that, but as we mentioned, everyone's health and Uber is frozen, so we don't know when June is actually going to get this up. And now, uh, it's like June does have Uber as they rush into last, just trying to get the sack off, trying to get any pressure possible. But Voxy and the Disky both going to be going down off the back of that. 
They're going down, and they're lost. I mean, they're down one player. This whole shadow tier 2 is so risky here as well. It should just be even Ubers as well. I guess they're just trying to get a second, but no, more Lexi. He's just walking forward to the bridge. There's just so many players on bridge. I mean, everyone's playing around Saw for Uber. Double the puck. This is Nuke's tune out of the saga. Everyone stands in his two rockets, and she just ends up dropping now. Oh my god. This is such a huge advantage for Pippers as well. I was, yeah, I was wondering, like, from 90 seconds from when the pause happened, that must be, like, something going wrong a bit later than just an ad push into last. And I guess that's what it was. Like, June dropping in lobby there is absolutely massive. They were giving tf 2 Easy so much space to get out from balcony and maybe work something from there, seeing as they were all playing so close towards uh, Saw. But in the end, Puck, with those two rockets, just changes absolutely everything. Last push coming in now. They don't really have the kills to save for it so far. Shocking now running onto point, just getting so much cap time, they just cap it from right under their noses, and that is going to be that. Such a nice little 2 or 1 up there for TF2 Easy. Just going down, honestly, I feel like New Panzer, that was such a nice push. Getting that drop, dude. Hugo going into into cheese there, just getting that those rockets onto he did so much damage to those rockets. Yeah. He did like 200 to three players. And this is uh, is New Panzer in the lead. 2-1 now in their favor. They were saying that they, they're pretty close to Tier 2 Easy and they think they could make it happen in the official. And this is the, the first sight we see of that. Obviously, Tier 2 Easy with the tactical pause after that round, we can only assume. So we'll see if Tier 2 Easy can actually change anything about their game plan. But once again, it doesn't look like anything's changing for the mids, at least. This is a very, very slow, very passive side being played for both teams. Either team going forward. This is finally a double bomb comes out of Nubby and Josh. They do a lot of damage and they take down Piggles immediately. That opens the door. Joe falling very low as well. And then capitalization comes across. Nubby and Nasboy both get taken down there towards the end of the fight. But it's just not enough for, for New Panther to stay in this mid at all. They have one scout up. But Shockey's running all the way back to second. He has no contest here at all. Yeah, it makes you question why TF2 Easy weren't just doing that from the start. The Josh and Nubby double bomb together was just huge. Josh landing on the players up top. Nubby basically landing on the combo. Even though they both go for separate targets, they both get their job done. Nubby obviously destroying Piggles there right at the start of the mid. And there's just no aggression from the rest of New Panzer. They're not walking forwards at all after that. They just get mowed down by the rest of it and now up goes the sentry on last for shocky 100 percent for june piggles only on 60. we'll see if uh tf2 is oh piggles is on crits as well thank you for pointing that out we would have never known on this hud but here we go morale using the uber in already getting lots of time on point a disky with the counter bomb piggles up to 90 percent crits now on the defense not enough time on point just yet josh Trying to spawn camp, but gets taken down by Shocky Morale. Still it. playing the point. He's so close, and he does manage to just steal it away. 2-2. Two, two. Higgles just got the crits in time, but not in time to use it to any meaningful benefit. Uh, there we go. Game's evened up once yeah. again. I mean, even if it was a bit more time, if he had more, like one more second to get onto the point there, he wouldn't have realistically had anyone to crits on either. Joe already dead. So are his soldiers. It would be a scout crit on the point to try and block it. That just is not happening, I'm going to be honest. Back on mid now, hopefully praying for a more aggressive mid out of either team. Yeah. Uh, well, it was tips to easy, the ones to take it last time. It looks like Josh is uh, trying... Josh and Nubby both, like, so passive that it looks like they're trying to conserve health for a double bomb. They might be ready to go for it again, and that's exactly what we see off of both kitchens. They're in over the top. Josh gets distracted by someone running behind, but Nubby and Nikki run across the point, and they're managing to pick up Piggles once again. But this time, June has gone down as well. Nasboy turning around to try and find these players who have managed to sneak in behind from New Panzer, but he's not going to get any of them. And now Josh is stuck on the wrong half of the map. Everyone's, you know, not full health, but they're not easy kills. Voxy does find him first, but goes down in one rocket. Uh, it would have to be a literal 1v5 from Josh here, which would be very <laughs> impressive. Yeah, he just gets caught out by Disky there. People show up, he's sitting in a corner, and eventually Disky hits him with some rockets. There is a puck though. Oh, this a puck flank. Hugo is already into lobby. I don't think they've spotted oh. him at all as well. He kind of looked back for a second, like he might have known something about it, but if there's just any distraction from in front, Hugo has an absolutely He's coming sack. in. Here he comes, he's landing onto Drew, pops in the air, and there we go. The two rockets take her down instantly. Piggles now secures himself a nice 50% advantage. Excellent heads up play from Hugo, just pushing him to last before the spawns come in, knowing that he has a free flank through lower there. No one's going to clear that out when they're just kind of rolling out into seconds as if it was any normal day. And now New Panzer looking primed to take the lead once again.
They're looking so good for this round here as well. There is a, a gun up and a nice little headshot onto Boxy as well, out of Nikki. Let's slow the push down a little bit, but honestly, don't think it's too bad. I feel like you still just sent this. I'm actually quite sure where is this gun? I'm trying to look. Okay, it's a level two on the right side here. You can see they're already taking this Uber. They're getting in through lower. They're going to come out through shutters as well. There is a sniper watching, but they're just going to take the Uber straight in. Gun down already, taken down by that lock and load. Now, bombs coming forward. The Uber's popped onto point. They've managed to get on to Nikki as well. W dead but so is the disky but the cap time is just there they have to send players onto the point Ooh. they're actually making it work so far the health bars are not there for new panzer yeah and voxy just joining the fight at the end obviously got sniped down right at the start of that meant it was pretty much a 5v6 from the get-go voxy unable to join the fight until the very end and that uber it seemed perfect for new panzer it seemed to last so long i don't know if they popped it late or what but they they had so much time on point voxy just in with a sack Ooh. actually trying to get behind a disky there to uh, kind of back up Hug? they're not able to find anything puck now sacking up on towards the point does find one oh, yes! and gets the second one as well it's another drop for june the second of the game i believe and both from Puck's Rockets, he's managing to make magic happen right now as they do now try and push into mid TF2 easy, trying to salvage everything they can, but everyone's just playing so passively, so perfectly. Puck, uh, Josh gets taken down by the Joe Trap, and Pickles has managed to keep that Uber ad, so now they have another crack at the nutshell of last. 90% ad, June has just managed to spawn now. Hugo's playing so well on this map. He's really just catching out June over and over again. His heads up, plays on the flank, just making it happen. Oh, where TF2 Easy won't be looking at him, and now those rockets at the end there as well. I feel like, yeah, I the mean, disrespect out of June, maybe, but honestly, like, when do you get that kill? Yeah, there's a scout right next to her. It is a, it's a pretty disrespectful milk from June, like staring at the rocket as it hits her, and I understand why because I, actually here comes the Uber into last. Never mind, no time to speak about this as they do run it in. They've taken down the Sentry, they've taken down the Nas Boy. Now they just need to find some point presence. They've got none so far, but they have all of this left side of last, all of truck side to themselves. Shocky finds a pick onto Nikki on the low ground, and now Josh is just trying his best to block the point. Nubby's the last one up, but can really do anything. June not able to get it, but there we go. 3-2 once again to New Panzer taking the lead. And as I was just saying, it was actually like, this, this is one of the benefits, I guess, of playing on vanilla TF2. Usually I don't see ragdolls, but it was a ragdoll kill on June, which means that she had less than 10 health between living yeah. and dying so it's understandable to drop there i guess if you're expecting it to be just little enough for you to uh survive the hit i suppose but yeah just a, a really unfortunate drop to just about take enough damage that uber and it changes around for the worse for tf2 easy as new panzer once again come out on top very passive mid once again from both sides. Voxy's just kind of inching over the top, seeing if he can get anything done. But Nubby, the first to truly commit as he goes solo over the top. A disky with the counter bomb is going to get denied. Nubby now rebombing from behind, lands onto Puck and does get that kill onto Hugo. So all of tier 2 easy. They have all of this, but are they going to be able to chase Piggles out? He's half health, just running for his life right now. June has gone down, so ideally they have to find this Piggles kill if they don't want to have four but he's got it in time. Manages to use off the Uber, but it's just him and Shocky. Josh still in behind. They've used the Uber on pretty much nothing, so that's absolutely good enough for TF2 Easy. As long as they've got the Uber out, this is just a standard mid win. It was such a nice bomb from Adidi actually to manage to take down June there in that initial fight. It made it really hard for TF2 Easy to stay in the mid, but really nice play from them as well. Heads up, getting in on two Piggles. Oh they don't God. get the frag, but they get the force of Josh just bombing in onto Lobby. Gets the rockets off him, gets the pop, even finds a nice little bonus frag as well. They take the mid off of it. And now Josh in with a solo sack, so he can find something. Nubby's now in to back him up, but actually this is a, a small advantage for New Panzer. If June had healed instantly, it would have been dead even, but her heals were so late. There's a sack in from a disky, but that's not going to work out. He's just going to go one for one with Nikki. And uh, there is an advantage for Piggles, but realistically, they shouldn't know about it. If June had been picked up, it would be dead even right now. Uh, they don't know that she wasn't. Nubby in with a massive <laughs> sack that sent Sky High and does get picked off by Hugo on the shutter door. And uh, now they're going to allow things to even up. You don't really want to push out off of uh, last just with an uber advantage anyway. You need a little bit more than that. And uh, New Panzer never really had that opportunity. Instead, it's just going to be a disky up on the sniper here. They're going to try and have to hit a shot in through that lobby area. Because he's already backing off. Which is uh, maybe better. Just on spy, making sure no one's on any funny business. It is a nubby sniper on the other side, though. It's going to come right back. 
This is an interesting sniper angle. I'm gonna be honest, into some sneak water last. Now that a distant is on spy, should have spotted out the sniper as well. You see Pagels already hiding behind a coiner. There is one shot for Nubby to hit onto Pagels, and it is just hero shotting through shutters. Yep, and the, the sentry gun is set up now, so no uh, no defensive sniper, but just a scout and a sentry. Uh, Voxy switching off of the heavy once the sniper comes up, and this guy's putting a lot of hurt onto that shutter door, while Nubby is peeking the wide angle from the other side over on bucket door. No one is there to contest it at all. Joe is just trying to trap it up from the safe angle, so it looks like they know Nubby's over there. They shouldn't be letting him in, and Piggles is absolutely safe around this corner. He can just sit here forever. He has five, he has three and a half more minutes to just sit here. The sentry gun does so much work in protecting him, it's really difficult now for TF2 easy. Have to find some sort of an angle, some sort of a pick, and a pick onto a disc. He's a really good shot. Nice body shot there from Nubby. He's gonna now focus up towards the shutter area. You can see no one on Tiff Easy wants to peek this at all. That is more Alexi getting really aggressive here onto this right side. Joe actually going quite far forward. He takes so much damage. Does Boxy, but just barely live. Now Sentry Gun is getting spammed, but it is living as well. I really, really like oh, this from TF2Easy. I love this from TF2Easy. Now the counter sack, Adiski is back Ooh. up. He's trying to just bomb and find anything, but instead Nubby finding the frag onto Voxy with the sniper. The Ubers are traded off here now, but is Jin gonna be able to get out of this? She's lost the Uber onto Morale, but does actually end up caught in afterwards. They're just fully committing to it. That's such a weird end to what should have been such a good play from TF2Easy. That's just gone. Oh my god, that's gone absolutely dreadfully. I Okay, I loved what they were doing there. They get in through Bucket Door, knowing that Joe is holding it super passive because he's scared of the sniper. But then that weird decision, June and Morale could have got out through lower. They used first. They knew their Uber was worse. I don't understand why you would commit to that for the entire time. And then June just ends up dying off the back of the Uber. They don't even find Piggles in return. So it's a sizable advantage now for Piggles. And obviously they wiped it too easy off the back of it as well. So now falling out onto mid is uh, is new panzer and they find that first frag onto morale they've gone one for one on the mid fight and piggles's uber is going to come up any second now and june's isn't if they can just mid super fast off of this they might be able to catch june out but no this is tf2 easy giving up the space that they deserve new panzer are going to take this mid for free they take it for free but they're going to have to go really fast if they want to push off of this uber at all june already at 92 percent she should just have this on the second so instead honestly tf2 easy they escape with this pretty well all things considered getting that kill onto boxy out of nasboy nice as well but it could have been so much worse for the monastery they take that fight into middle it goes a little bit more wrong than it ends up going they just lose the round off of that right they can't hold second or are they back on last they probably lose their med even because Jew is actually pretty far in as well now it's just fl flank fights and honestly tier too easy they're coming up on top they have two frags they even ubers as well they're pushing them through joe yeah they just need to make sure they know about puck in the saw and he's going to be spamming from there instead of going for a sack they really should know about him and now two scouts are going to converge on that position, but they're also focused on Puck! They're so focused on Puck, they can just run forwards from New Panzer, and they get the force onto June. Nasty might get dropped from this all just in the nick of time. It's a nice flash from June to save his life, but it's not good enough, as the Uber is just so much better for New Panzer. June oh. really got hung out to dry by TF2 Easy there. Both, both of her scouts focusing on that player in Saw, just not killing it fast enough, and June was just pretty much left out of position. Just could not get anywhere with everyone eyeing her down on the midpoint which leads june to get first everyone from new panzer follows up off the back of there pretty much you can see new panzer they're already funneling in through lower here i'm actually not sure if they can make this last push happen is a level two up as well and they don't have uber charge just yet it is a big ad for pickles about 50 percent and they should be looking to push off this when they get this uber up and going coming up and going they should be able to just push in straight away the sniper up as well Four more likes, he's gonna have to hit a very nice headshot to keep his team in the game here. Yeah, and with eight minutes left on the map time, this is gonna be a big push. If this is a cap for New Panzer, it's gonna make it very, very difficult for TF2 Easy to get back in the game, especially with how slow the pace of mid fights has been so far. And there we go, in comes the Uber. Sentry gun down already. Adiski loses his life. Nubby trying to bomb the points, block that cap time, gets sent sky high by the juggle. Is gonna crater off the back of that as well. Now it's a 5v4 fight in the favor of New Panzer. That Uber still just out of reach for Juniors. Everyone starts oh. to on the point right now june going down as well nas boy the one player left standing and it's 4-2 to new panzer and we didn't get much time to talk about this in the pre-game seeing as uh, the situation we're currently in but <laughs> this is the battle for second place if any team is going to take it off of tf2 easy this season it is new panzer and it seems to be the case that they are going to take it so far this looks like it should be at least some points in the bag 
four new plans are coming into this one. Maybe even the map, unless unless TF2 Easy can come back in this seven minutes of map time, but we're going to need to see them speed up on the mid fights. They're going to have to start speeding up, and all eyes, honestly, are going to be on Nubby to try and make something happen. And he is the playmaker for this team. Had a little bit more support in Gazi. Now Nikki stepping in to fill the shoes, perhaps. Step up on this middle once again. It's just so slow here as Nubby not going in at all. Just bombs his own high ground. Neither team wants to go in. And this just has to favor new Panzer here. They've been out maneuvering to three so far, as now finding the bombs are coming across. It's decent damage onto Joel, but it's actually Nasboy going down. Josh has not found anything with this bomb, and with that, I think this mid should just be over for TF2 Easy. You cannot get in, but they're down a demo man. They're probably gonna have to try and fight second without one. It's gonna be really tough for them to stay in the round. Yeah, I mean, ideally, you have to trade this and wait for your spawns. The spawns are up in two, so it's not too bad for TF2 Easy on the trade here. It is a relatively fast trade. They get the Ubers out of the equation nice and quickly. Nikki, though, is going to get pressured super hard on the flank. In the meantime, oh. Petisky is going to be getting that uh, fresh kill on Tanaspoy as he rolls out into the fight as well. He's going to lose his life for it, but Soldier for Demo is absolutely worth it. And the positioning is the thing that's worth it most of all. Just new Panzer are all over this. Nubby trying to bomb up and block the point, but he's going to lose his life for it. Tier 2 Easy, they drop another frag as well, and Morale is completely separated from his medic. He's out in cheese as June is back on last, and they do manage to converge together now, but it's already New Panzer rushing they in through win. Bucket side. They could just win this round out right here, right now. They could now. just Morale win just the map as well. Right. The round difference should be enough. They just look at TF2 easy. There That's we go. GG. Yeah, and 5 2 to New Panzer taking that first map. Three points on the board for New Panzer, and again, TF2 easy dropping down into that third seed that we saw them end up in last season is. Uh, is unfortunate. It's not what we expect from these guys. They have been the staple first or second place team for over a year. Yeah. And in the, these last two seasons, it just hasn't been good enough, really. It feels like they're just getting outmaneuvered. Multiple times, they've been taking these weird fights that honestly, New Panzer plays so passively that it feels like TF2 Easy just don't know what to do. It's like, <laughs> look at Bro's class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, like, so we have the. We're not on our own Steam accounts right now. So at the moment we're using we're using a different Steam account, and the most played class is Spy at 25 hours. 25? Is that even hours? This might be minutes. It might be 25 I minutes and 38 seconds of, of Spy gameplay. 25 minutes of Spy is the most played class on this account. And we've got 12 minutes of Sniper, Medic, and Engineer. Most points? Four. <laughs> Most points for this guy's a boss. The <laughs> logs don't matter, guys. This is wrong. Then we have seven minutes of demo, two minutes of heavy. Guy has not played scout, soldier, or pyro once. No. But like the offensive classes, we're not up for that. That, no. that sounds way too difficult. No, but spy is epic. You spy, get the cool trick stab. Spy is so sick. Like you can go invisible and insta kill and stuff. Dude, it's so cool. Just go like... <laughs> anyway, okay, head in the game for one of the most important prem officials of the season. <laughs> let's let's get some analysis back on the board. Yeah. The mid fights were not great for TF2 Easy. Even that first round they won, so they won two rounds. The first round that they won wasn't, they didn't even win the mid fight of that round. No. New Panzer were pretty much consistently winning the mid fights. There was one mid fight that TF2 Easy won, which seemed to be the only one where they double bombed instantly. Yeah. Every passive mid fight seemed to go the way of New Panzer. And I mean, I can kind of see why. The tier 2 easy bombs were not really landing in the same place or going at the time most of the time that they did it. So it's like, if you're waiting around this long, like, what are you waiting around for if you're going to yeah. be building up to something that's just that? And then you, you know, both your soldiers go down. Most of the time, you don't even get the frags you were looking for. But this is where I think, honestly, this is where I think Gully Wash might be a huge change for tier 2 easy. I think. Nubby on Gully Watch Middle in combination with Nasboy is a sight to behold. The okay. game is completely unplayable for the enemy <laughs> team most of the time. You go back and watch TF2 Easy play versus Swift and watch Impo roll out into his own choke. First mid, he stickies his own drop down <laughs> and then pre fires pipes through choke because he's so scared of Nubby. And then the next round, he still gets bombed instantly and killed by Nubby, by the way, that meant. <laughs> Next round, he does the same thing again, but stickies his own choke and then stands there pre-firing pipes out of his own choke. He okay. still dies, Nubby. <laughs> but, <is laughs> but answer me this honestly. Is that 
a Nubby play or is that a Yimpo play? <laughs> I think it's a mixture of both. That's, because okay. Nasboy is also really, really good at applying pressure to teams as they get in onto Gullywash middle. And, Na and Nubby is so good at playing with that space that it gives him that Nasboy has. He just exerts so much control over this mid and breaking this TF2 easy mid fight on Gullywash especially, I think really is the key for New Panzer. Can they compete? with that mid fight because i know especially from talking to moolah a couple you know before before a few of the lands we've had he's consistently told me that uh, these gully wash middles against cf2 easy just feel completely unplayable for him yeah i mean you're definitely right now boy is uh is super good at putting that pressure on instantly and it's uh whether new puns and new how to play around that whether they're going to be you know, super scared in their own big door, trying to dodge any bit of spam they can, or whether they just brute force their way through it, take the damage, own up to it, try and win the fight from there. Um, but yeah, I, I do think that any any different map is going to play very, yeah. very differently to how we saw that first map be played, because this is not a mid where you can get, around, get away with uh, just hanging around and waiting for that long like no team just put six people on their own side and spams for five minutes on on gully wash mid <laughs> no but like guys try it though it would be so sick if you guys tried it <laughs> it'd be really funny if, uh, if you just bomb your own side and then try and air shot everyone yeah, 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 yeah. oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i i mean neither team's gonna play like that this mid like much faster there's much more that you can do as well obviously as you mentioned like bombing up drop down that's not even a a, a possibility on a mid like snake no. water it's basically am i bombing instantly or am yeah. i bombing a little bit later yeah. it's like there's no two sides that you can go as a soldier this is going to play completely differently and because it plays completely differently from the mid fights it's going to play differently the whole way through i think yeah i think it also i think we saw puck as well he really had tf2 easy's number that last game i think he might honestly if he plays like this last game Gully Wash is such a good map for Romans. If you know how to play around the enemy team, if you can sort of read where they're going, you can cause so much chaos by pl constantly playing the other side of wherever the enemy team is, constantly applying pressure. This is something that TF2EZ love to do as well. They love sending a nubby. Before it was Gazzy, now it's Nikki. They love sending them in behind all yeah. the time. And it's something I think both teams really like to do. We're going to be seeing a lot of flank plays. Okay, so without looking at the tables, just doing some quick maths in my head, uh, TF2 Easy got five points versus four fence. Yeah. New Panzer got three. Yeah. So New Panzer need two more points to take that second seed. Sure. I believe. Do you... <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Do New Panzer get the two points they need this map, or are TF2 Easy coming out on top? TF2 Easy need to find something else. I mean, they were really getting called out. I think, especially honestly, June just didn't have the best game. Those... TV disrespect needs, ways. really needs to step up in order to uh, to stay in this map. Honestly, form continues the way we saw last map, then New Panzer have this in the bag. I don't even think it's two points. I think it's probably three. All right. Well, we're live in five, so I will get a, a last instant score prediction from you. Do you think it's a, a close game? Yep. We're, we're, we're sitting on last for 20 minutes. Right. Because we also know that tf 2 Easy's singular play to bust last is sent two people to lower. Okay. Well, uh, we've we've seen some uh, some funny pyro plays as well in lasts recently. Maybe we might get some of that. But here we are into the first mid of Gully Wash. Tier Too Easy left down after that first map. Nubby instantly going down to Puck on the low ground as well. It just came out up with the counter sack, trying to find anything possible. Hugo also in with that bomb lands onto Ooh. June and Joe sinks a sticky at the same time as Hugo's rocket. They collect two frags together and now it's just Nas Boy. He's not even going to bomb the point. He's just going to bomb out of there. He's trying to get his way out. I don't even, yeah, he's actually managing to get all the way out, but your demo man living it might not be such a big deal when the rest of your team's wiped. Pills yep. with that 80, 70% uh, advantage. Nikki up on the engineer, but I actually don't know if he has time to set up, up set up that gun all the way to the point where it's actually relevant. Sniper up of Mara Lexi as well. But once again, I feel like honestly, Sniper on Gully Watch last. What are the angles that you're ever going to hit? You're always going to pop in through any of the places where you're pushing from. That's a nice little pick from Josh. Starting things off, gonna slow down the push a little bit, but I feel like they can still just go in. You can see Puck already peeking the shutter area, spotting out the sniper. You can see them rotating already towards River here. Yeah, I think they go without Voxy. Like, Shocky is more than capable. They just wait that few seconds. 
so that they can... Oh, they're actually going for a double underplay with the Medic as well, so oh they are just God. using this straight onto point. Puck bombing oh, up no. onto June, actually finds the fight onto Morale, and now they are just uh, trying anything they can to play the point, but they've lost Puck. They don't actually find anything off the back of that play, and that's a real shame. They have Voxy in secret. Voxy's sitting in secret. He can just sit and hide here. I think, yep, there oh, we go. He's, he's been, been spotted. Out. He's just going to run to point to get taken down immediately. That was such a sad spite, or pyro play rather, from Moralexi there. Yeah. The soldier bombs in, he misses both of the reflects, dies to three rockets. And Joe gets a trap kill on Morale as well, oh. but they, they would not have found a more perfect second to last. Puck managed to bomb at the exact moment that they moved the sentry just by pure accident, but still, the play doesn't manage to work out. A Disky landing on the shutter there, nearly gets killed by Nubby, but Nubby opts to back out instead, and now they're just back on last. They've, they've decided it's too risky. Even though they had the ad there, even though they had a couple of players down, they took a little bit too long and they just decide yeah. we're safer on last. They're safer on last. They're safer running down this around time here, which has reset. Back to four and a half minutes, but I think Gully Wash is a map that lends itself to holding for a very long time. Interesting to see now, what does New Panzer have in their bag of tricks to try and break this stalemate? See if too easy can and will just sit here for five more minutes. There's a Voxy in water already. The rest of his team trying to support him and is now with Disky going down as well. You see Nubby already sitting on this ring. Can have to be spammed off or he's just going to spam that. No one can ever go in. Yeah, and for the, the, the round timer didn't reset. They didn't cap second. That's just our default oh. TF2 messing nice. up without casting essentials. But Adisky is going to get flushed out from in water. Josh unaware of the Voxy kill as well. That could have been a, a very free kill if he was facing the, the correct way and get that two pick advantage instead of the one. But instead, he is going to get uh, forced back. And TF2 Easy just willing to sit around here for a little bit longer. I'd assume there's about two minutes left on the map timer. Maybe my producer can whisper in the ear. Yeah, probably somewhere around there, as, uh, I mean, it's still sitting here. The Pyro on the sentry gun as well, making sure no projectiles ever touch this gun. Makes it so difficult now for New Panther to try and go in. They still have to send in an off pass. I say that, never mind it. Look at the top of my screen, there's a Pyro on yeah. a Disky, who once again runs oh. to low, but the Stickies out of Nasboy just takes them all down. The Pyro play immediately has to be abandoned, losing Boxy there. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just talking about in the pregame for a second, is that this pyro play that, you know, used to be um, pretty used pretty often. Now it's, it, then it kind of went out of fashion again, but now it's back. There's a disky in lower already. This time they're going without the medic. They're not going to take a trade. Shocky once again just drops to the stickies immediately. So Nasboy's sticky placement is doing great work at shutting down these scouts before they get anywhere. And that pyro play on the point, completely worthless. They barely get that 10% of cap time. Uh, TF2 is more than comfortable now with this, this whole last stuff. I would assume, like, given a perfect opportunity to get out now, they might just take the mid-fight instead. There's very little yeah. time left on the round. I feel like you have to completely full wipe the enemy team for you to even consider pushing to second here, honestly. And even then, I think maybe Gullywash is one of those maps where you could just potentially not even take that full ad, everyone is dead. We get second for free, potentially even mid. We have seen on these, oh, Shockey's just Ooh. running in and feeding to Josh there through main. We have seen um, on low round timers, new yep. Panzer have been very, very uh, willing to just take a YOLO trade with about 30 seconds left. Uh, dropping Shockey before that YOLO trade might not be the best for them. So they might just kind of let this one time out, but they still have an opportunity to make things work. And when they have been trading, for basically nothing, it, when it gets to the desperate, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures, they have been making something work with the YOLO trades almost every time, but here they go. They've used it in this time. They barely even get the sentry gun down. They don't get anything out of June, not a single piece of damage on her even, and uh, that is not going to work out in their favor. They're trying to repush this, but June just has an Uber to use off at the moment's notice. As soon as anything becomes a mild threat, she's going to be using this Nash? one out. And instead, Nas. Going down on the point, Morale on the pyro, they do pop this Uber out on the defense and Puck and a Disky, just a minuscule amount of oh HP. Both soldiers there stuck There's waiting for bows. There is some cap time, but I don't know how long is left on the round. Puck tries to go for it, but he gets taken down Voxy. And there we go. Stalemate is the end of the first round. So, uh, unable to actually convert that first round, even though they won that, uh, that first mid fight, tier too easy. Uh, managed to just hold them out on last. Guys, we're getting yelled at being too loud. We're, we're being too loud in the land cafe, bro. Like, sorry. We got a job to do here. <laughs> There's no way.
<laughs> We're back on mid, guys. Everything's all good. There's a zero round buffy right now. I'm just bombing in at the moment. It's June just sitting on her own side right now. Once again, it's easy at playing this really passively. The soldier rush just not coming out. As it now, it's just June taking down. Yeah, just the scout shooting at her from the side. She gets taken down, and now everyone's playing super passive in Big Dog Pickles doing anything he can to stay alive. Morale and Nikki are going to be capping up this midpoint, but the Uber from Pickles is coming in momentarily. They have 85% now moving towards the point. Nass Boy is uh, still in on mid on his own side. Nubby on the enemy side now just trying to bomb out, get out of here. There's a back cap going on on second Morale and Nikki seeing if they can do anything about this, but no, he gets taken down as well. Now Josh trying to stuff him in the choke. Ooh, gets a lot of damage, but no kills at all. Chucky going to be taking that down now that Uber is out from Piggles. They have used it off. June hasn't been healing, so it's uh, pretty much even after this. And the mid fight is going to finally go the way of New Panzer. And they, oh, they lose Nasboy there as well. A Disky bombing through on Big Door, taking the demo down. Getting that demo kill is so for them. It really slows down the enemy camp. Which she could do. They're down two plays. You can see Tiff and Easy still getting aggressive with the top of a Disky. Eyes in the corner. He's found two. June and Bar and Alexi both going down there. So, so big <laughs> for New Panza here. Staying in this round and makes this push so difficult now. Tiff and Easy, it's just Josh bombing forward. The medic just doesn't get it. Pickles because it's so far back. Now Nubby on the lamp play. Oh, I don't think Hugo pulled oh, him. No, Hugo no checked way. above but didn't actually spot Nubby in this position. And now the sixth from oh. Pickles, two rockets it perfectly synced, taking down the red medic. So New Panzer actually at a disadvantage here. They are going to get second, but Nubby is all the way in behind. He's going to be able to maybe even spawn camp Pickles for a while, stop him from uh, linking up with anyone. But oh, there's a cap on Mass. Oh, 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 just wins the round. Ow. Where did he go? How did he get that? That is devastating. You put all your eggs in one basket for that play from Nubby, hiding high above choke. Puck even clears above choke, but doesn't clear the top, top angle that Nubby was hiding on. But it doesn't even matter in the end. Shocky just makes a play one better, and they just win the round off of it. Such a big play from Shocky. Still stepping up, being that difference maker. He's done this so many times this season. Getting in behind and making it work. There's an off class of the season award. Not an off classer, a back capper of the season. He wins that 100%. Now it's Puck just in behind the enemy team and takes down Naspoy at the very beginning of the middle. The Adiski trade is more than worth it because it gives so much space for New Panther to run across. The salvage from Josh is just waddles across, gets a single kill into Pickles, but that's a, such a nice mid here yeah. for New Panther. A salvage is all it is. A nice uh, piece of coordinated aggression from the front and the back takes down June nice and early, but Josh, yep, does manage to find the Piggles frag late on the mid and at least kind of even things up maybe give June a slight advantage but not really one worth talking about Hugo is what the eyes should be on right now he is hiding in last once again ready to make a play of his own there is Nubby going down to Joe in the meantime Puck still in behind he's up top now he's been completely unchecked he's unknown right now for TF2 Easy. Might have been spotted out now. They know that a Disky's bombed up there. Now there's two soldiers in that same position. Puck bombing forwards, getting a lot of damage onto Josh, and the soldiers go one for one. There's still a Disky in behind that TF2 Easy have to worry about, and Joe has just bombed through the choke in the meantime. This is, they're firing on all cylinders from all angles here. New Panzer just trying to force Cooker out June, but there's <laughs> nothing to be found. They find Na uh, Nasboy in the back lines, and Nikki trades for a disky one for one nubby's gonna get a follow-up kill onto shocky as well so three for three fight june is not healing anyone right now but piggles can't move out choke it's just too risky to commit here now joe and piggles both gonna turn their tails and run they're gonna have to run it back here but this is so nice for piggles here so many kills happened i like that fight for such a long time but now it's too easy they can get in force that uber charge out of piggles they're not really going to be able to find that much of a follow-up here because yeah. they're only three players on mid that one kill to josh honestly just a consolation prize the ubers popped out now it's a hundred percent for june just just walk in through somewhere maybe choke maybe big Bill. we'll see Piggles was, was playing close. They were expecting June to come in through the choke there, and they thought, you know, if we use, it's fine. It's going to be a trade. We're going to find June. But instead, that slight advantage of having the 4v3 to TF2 Easy means that they just use the pressure cooker strat instead. They managed to force out Piggles without really having to do much of their own. And now, oh, the TF2 Easy, they instantly pop through that door, and they don't spot either of the hiders who were in elbow. That's a Disky and Puck, both managing to go behind. Now, a Disky bombing the choke to try and stop them on the way back, but doesn't really work out he just loses his life but 
I suppose he's done his job. He's forced them back to second, and now New Panzer have control of mid and the 40% add. They have such a big add on Pickles here, and there's not really any space from TF2 Easy on it to choke. I feel like, honestly, this is completely free for New Panzer. There's one soldier sitting above in Nubby, once again, in the same spot. He managed to get Pickles once before, but this time he's called out. Stick trap kill. Foxy can slow them down a little bit, but I honestly think, I don't think this is too bad. Really nice rocket there from Puck as well. Onto Nubby, denying that bomb forward. And Piggles lives for now in its choke. But June getting dangerously close to this Uber on her own. I wonder though, do they have enough to go in? They're pushing in any way. Ooh, Hugo gets the force as much earlier used for June. Will they even be able to find the counter Uber from Piggles here? He does use it off. Are they going to be able to find anyone chasing this one down? Morale seems like a free kill, but. That is absolutely wise from him. He delta splits from his medic. He knows if they kill him instead, at least the medic's gonna get out. To lose a scout and a soldier at least here, but things look to be even for last. It could have gone much worse. Roxy once again dying to a sticky trap from Nasboy. That must be like the fifth time this game that he's managed to slow new Panzer down with sticky trap kills onto scouts. Such a big deal to keep getting these kills onto the scouts. Because once again, as you're saying, it just slows them down so much. They want to go in here, but is giving his team time to now set up. But Ad still technically in favor of of Nuba Panzer here, but it is a boxy spy who's up, ready and able to try and make something happen. There's a pyro on the enemy side. I'm actually don't really think that they've gone spy on their own to check. Make sure there's not enough faster on the enemy team, but surely they're gonna see only a singular scout and they're gonna scout getting scared. They're gonna scout getting worried. Where's yeah. where's Voxy? Well, I mean they, they haven't had an opportunity to see anything at all really. It's, both teams have kind of left each other to it oh. while the Ubers come up and Josh was so close to spotting Voxy there just with the spam onto main, but Voxy has managed to get himself to the pillar. A disky eats a trap going through to lower once again, Nasboy doing big work and Josh Josh just stood on Voxy but he doesn't oh know. My God. Josh thought he stood on the spools. He actually oh stood on Vox's head and made Voxy shimmer, but I don't think they know about it. There's two kills on Riven in the meantime. That's, yeah, a, a demo and a soldier. That's a pretty big deal. Now, pretty much the only thing Voxy can do here is a backcat play, but Nikki seems to be aware of the fact that it is a possibility. Maybe now they've been counting players. They know they only saw one scout. Nikki is uh, yep. checking everything out with those flames, and it looks like Voxy is just ready to run back to mid. Yeah, they are holding the door open for him. He is off the spy. They're going to try and make something else work. You can see TF2 easy, even though they get that demo kill, they get two other kills as well. Normally, I feel like most of the teams, they would push that out, but instead, they're just relying so much on that round time to run all the way down for them. Not willing to push that out. Stay on last. Make sure that you at least don't lose that push. Could, in theory, go disastrously wrong. Why take the risk? So instead, we're now back on last. Yep, and two players in the once again, Voxy and a Disky. Nubby's been spammed off of the ring from the other side, so he's now just playing on the point. Voxy and the Disky might be able to abuse this somehow, but he gets the bow, gets uh, back up to full health, and this is just such a, a perfect position for Nubby. You know, he's played it a million times before. You know this is the default play for any team attacking Gully last. You have to go from under the point. And, uh, you know, it's pretty much a solved counter. Nubby stands up here. Maybe he takes some spam in the back, but June is just ready Open to bow in at a moment's notice. He does actually go into spawn for a respy here, and that is the moment that Disky decides to strike, Ooh. but the sentry gun is too strong. It just covers everything. But once again, it's another kill on to Joe, and you can see this time around, tf too easy They spring into action, sending Nasboy and Josh so far forward. The late kill onto Boxy as well it means that this time they're finally leaving their last point abandoning the off classes and they are just going to get that second point for free it's still even ubers but you take that second every day of the week yeah much much nicer feeling to be on second than on last obviously and uh there's uh, actually an opportunity to do something if the enemy kind of fails a play that's uh, a bit more marginal on a last push if if there's a sack or something you know you can do something back on mid on last you just kind of look in lobby and you're like yeah yeah they all left to second because yep. it's the obvious thing to do and i can't really do anything in <laughs> yeah. second because then I'll, I'll leave myself with five players in the defense but disky gonna be the first one to do something as we mention it and now uh, we'll see what tf2 easy opt to do in response is just no piggles with a nice surf manages to land up on top above the choke but very very cool bomb from nubby to uh to skip in there five for five now as a yeah just no Instant. hesitation <laughs>
looked like he was going to hit that as well. It feels like, honestly, from, from the angle I was watching, kind of, I'm not I'm not 100% sure because obviously the camera angle is a little bit weird, but it looked like a scout may or may not have got, get down with the president that yeah. was there. Saved his life. That would be uh, unfortunate for Nubby if it was the case. That's, you know, one less one less clip in the shadow play for this season. <laughs> That's Peter's uh, views going down by the second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there is now a Disky spawning on the sniper instead. And they're taking this wide angle in Big Door. It just pretty much forces this counter play from TF2 easy. Nubby, uh, Nasboy, sorry, has to take this really passive angle, just kind of stood on the rock below the balcony. They have everyone else on top. Um, Josh just in lobby on his lonesome to make sure that no flank play comes in. But they are playing this super safe from TF2 Easy, just not giving this sniper any room to work with. And in the meantime, the rest of the combo thinks that they can bust through choke. Maybe they're right. Puck in with the bomb, gets above choke, but he's just going to lose his life for it. TF2 Easy seemed to have uh, some kind of heads up play, knowing that was coming, and uh, rotated around to choke just in time. Everyone was looking at Big Door just a moment oh. earlier, and once again, did you use all she did? Oh, oh no. This is dreadful. This is so tragic for TF2 Easy. They used that Rupert so quick. Wait. I don't. Do you think New Panzer no? Did they see? Did they see that she? No, used? no, they didn't actually. Because June was still back around the corner. Does he know? Nobody. Uh, sorry, uh, morale just died to the trap. They didn't see June around the corner. So uh, we've just heard that J Max's TF2 has crashed. So this is a radio cast <laughs> in the worst situation possible on camera for it. So here we go. There is a dry push now coming in. It looks like uh, Pickles did know after all, as they just dry that through choke into second and they do manage to just force tf2 easy all out back to last in the meantime two kills have gone down josh and voxy have traded for each other but the uber is still in pickles's favor he's got about a 30 percent advantage now taking this into lobby but it's just too slow the uber's coming up any second now on june 90 percent a disky with a skip bomb forward is going to get denied by the sentry and the pyro 95 percent and they're just calling it off new panzer back out to second they're going to let a disky just be dead weight there and uh, now the gun's moving up into the standard even position. Piggles is way back at choke. Everyone's just playing this super passively. No one can see each other right now. Uh, and it's even Ubers. It's even Ubers here for both teams. Nubby just up on spy, making sure. No funny business happening. There wasn't that one spawner of a disc. He likes to play sniper occasion, making it sure that he's not on that class. Such good information for TF2 Easy to have, obviously. If you know this is not going to redeem, you put your medic all the way far back, as far away from any sniper sight angles possible. Make sure he's safe, but instead, he's going to be not He's still safe as well. Yep. So worry. He spent so long. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki is uh, also spy checking everything just proactively to see in case there is a spy again. Joe spamming loose cannon, but doesn't even get far enough to do anything actually with the range of the loose cannon boxy. Once again, it's low, and nobody doesn't know about it. Oh, wait, yet. no! This is just dead to Puck as well, and now this water play is actually so much more powerful here. No damn man to hold the corners in means that that's just another kill onto Josh. There's so much pressure, means that the sentry gun falls out of Mara Lexi. One Nubby holding the point, and the heavy now is coming out. But so much pressure is going to be dealt to this point now. The blood just onto it. The heavy's not on the point, and the Uber comes out. Pop on it to Mara Lexi, but crucially, Higgles still has a hundred percent here and that's what we mean by the pressure cooker if you've ever heard that term and not just known what it means when the a, attacking team has some kind of advantage they just press every issue put more and more pressure on until something crumbles and those single kill on the mass boy leads to another single kill onto josh leads to another single kill on the sentry and all those things just compound into a lot of time on point and june has to use but the use from uh, New Panzer in return has been just as invalid. It's done absolutely nothing. They do manage to just kind of stop that second cap, but they get no frags for it at all. So we're just back to kind of where we started, honestly, but without the even the situation, without the force coming out onto June as well. Fortunately, Pickles, I'm not even sure if he needed to pop that at all. The soldiers really no, fell back on him really as well. I'm not really sure why he did that. But, you know, that happens sometimes. Yeah, sometimes the team the calls for it. Maybe, you, you know, your scout thinks they can catch something that they just can't. The medic holds S and it's all over. But once again, Voxy uh, in lower, just trying to play around with the point. Another thing to mention is that second never got capped in that push out, I believe. So uh, we should still be on the same round time as before. Yeah, same. two minutes on the run time apparently, so uh, TF2 Easy might just be holding out for another reset here. It's still 1-0 with nine minutes left on the game. 
is 1-0, but honestly, running down the round time, man, it doesn't work in Tiffy Easy's favor, because there's so much time now for new fans to just keep running the clock down. They can keep trying to push here, but honestly, I'm not really sure if it's worth it. Honestly, pushing too much, they get that sentry gun kill out of Moralex, and you now the pressure cooker once again. It's starting to happen. You can see the amount of damage dealt to Nubby and Low as well. The pressure keeps mounting. Heavy is up, but not on points. It's another kill to Nubby. Now the Pyro has to come down. There's so much damage being dealt by Joe. He's just sitting on balcony uncontested. But they're finally going to take get taken down. It's three dead here for New Panzer. Yep, and uh, it's a bit slow for TF2 Easy. Yeah, they're just opting with that low, low round timer as it is. They want to take a mid fight here instead. Um, morale just getting back onto engineer and setting up that sentry gun they had that those uh, three picks to try and work with but you know less than 30 seconds left they they don't want to try and get into second off of just picks alone there is a june and piggles uber still in the equation so this has to be traded before anything really happens a disc oh, gets spotted oh. by the random spy checking of nikki shocky on top oh, of the so much cap time it's, they could make something happen here new panzer i don't know the exact round time left looks like they're just spamming they take down the sentry gun once again, but uh, still with the Ubers in the equation, it's just too much to to uh, to really for New Panzer to get anything going. Its point is still about 60, 50 percent capped. Uh, taking another spam angle, trying to get that sentry down before it even goes up. But the Pyro keeping the rockets at bay. Now with 30 seconds left on the round time, it means that the uh, instant New Panzer eventually you're just going to have to send the Hail Mary once again. It's honestly it's worked for a lot of Prem teams this season. Just when they Finally, off force the push. They get in and they somehow make it work. The Uber trade comes in 2.3 lower there. As both teams, neither of them really suffering any major damage. But to kill onto Boxy here, 40 of 2 Easy. The counter kills well onto Puck. It's just one kill onto Josh, and there's a lot of pressure on points. But TF2 Easy, they manage to hold onto it. The round timer runs out. We are back to mid, baby. Yep, going back to mid once again. And uh, I'll take this opportunity to retry so we can actually see the uh, the round timer. But <laughs> I that would be crazy. It's been it's been two for two in mid fights for New Panzer yep. so far. So we once again it's a it's a tale of we need to see something change for TF2 Easy on these mid fights. We really do honestly. I was hyping them up to start. I think specifically Nubby, but they've done such a good job in shutting down Nubby, making something happen before he even has time to impact the round. And you can see this time how fast he plays. He's instantly into choke, but there's so many red members trying to keep him at bay. But it's just two scout kills immediately at the start of this mid. One at Disky Bubble, one to, to June. Tries to make it work, but June just barely lives, surfing into the enemy elbow there. But because everyone else in Tier 2 Easy, they're so far back, they're all playing in choke, waiting for Nubby. It just gives them the mid for free. Yeah, all of all of New Panzer just already out there. Maybe if someone was still close to the choke. Oh, oh, Nubby with a huge kill actually taking down Piggles. Just as he was trying to push back up onto second, this means that they have absolutely nothing to say on second. And it, it could be absolutely tragic for New Panzer. After 25 a... minutes of being in the driving seat, it could be even just like that. You know, having, you know, 80% ball possession doesn't mean anything no. if you only get one goal and then the enemy team just instantly replies, which could this be such a huge chance. What we're about to see, yeah, 100% advantage for June. And even though New Panzer have seen dominant, they've had uh, TF2 Easy pinned throughout this pretty much entire game. TF2 Easy are ready to even things up as they do bomb into last Nubby, failing that first bomb morale straight onto point, getting oh, it half capped. Yeah. There's no block to it. <laughs> oh, they do just get onto it just in time. 99% cap. June has no one to heal as well. She's trying to back out from river whereas the rest of the team leave through lobby and there we go just that convergence onto point at the very last second from new panzer manages to keep them alive that is so clutch for new panzer just barely manages that point was almost capped it's still almost capped they have to be careful for the backup so he's shocking he's still heavy on last and that makes the fight honestly a little bit worse for new panzer here onto second you can see as well Puck gets completely denied the bomb comes in from nubby and josh and they pick up puck piggles and disky dead as well one kill to josh is completely fine honestly but the heavy kill on her last gets nubby now one box he's just delaying in big door for as long as possible but this yeah, they can just play the ads here they they need to kind of not commit this too early would be my advice but yeah there's a lot of spam damage just coming out from joe alone they should play the ad here rather than play the picks 
And that looks like what they're going to do. They're out to second once again. But that was just so so wise from Tier 2 Easy. They, they knew they could afford that double bomb. They knew that there was so much cap time on last that maybe someone would be kind of desperately watching that back cap. Maybe it's a 5v6 on second, and they were absolutely right to go for it as they do just commit onto Piggles and take him oh. down. Josh gets dropped from behind the Uber. That's a disc oh, taking that no. one down. Joe takes down the other soldier in the form of Nubby. A disc has gone down himself, but the Uber is not fruitful at all. They take down the sentry, but that is it, and they back out seconds. They lose both their soldiers as soon as the push even starts. They have no positioning at all going in on the last. It just allows New Panther to hold on basically for free, and now, because the Uber failed, there's actually an advantage for Pickles here. Only 70%. You can see they're kind of peeking up top, but they're kind of deciding once again, it's not worth it. Run down the clock here. There's just not that much time left. They're up around. Yeah, New Panzer are absolutely willing to run this out. It's worth saying that there's 3.20 on the game clock and there's 2.30 on the round clock. So if they do successfully run this round out, that's GG. I don't think there's time left in that 50 seconds. It is, it is the, to take the biggest Eames don't go to mid angle I've ever seen in my life. Yes, if it round yes absolutely. So realistically, tf 2 Easy need to bust this last and they're trying to do it with just soldier oh. sacks. That's why you have a sentry, that's why you have a pyro, and the soldier sacks don't work out at all. It's, it's, I mean, honestly, it feels like just a Hail, Hail Mary play from TF2 Easy, They're trying to find something, anything to really happen. It honestly felt like that was close to happening um, there onto I, Piggles. There's, there's one direct rocket I mean, in the way of Piggles dropping there. I don't, I don't think it's close onto Piggles. I think it's absolutely worth going for, though. Like, theoretically, I think if TF2 Easy throw away enough kind of like, crap pushes at uh, New Panzer, eventually New Panzer might try and do something. Like, maybe they're just going to relax on last this entire time. Josh once again going down here. Nubby does get uh, a bit of damage oh, taken. No. There's spy checking going on once again, but he's in, trying to go for a check. That one's Piggles doesn't manage to get anything at all. One minute left on the round timer, but are they going to push out this time? It honestly feels like TF2 Easy have a better chance of winning this on second than they do on last. And maybe they're trying to bait New Panzer to come out onto second where they can actually win a fight and kind of barrel roll that into last. But New Panzer are just so comfortable here. They are not feeling threatened at all. It's just been two soldiers instantly going down every single time, whether it's been sacking or off the full ad, both soldiers going down before the ad even gets used out. Nubby, once again, eating spam. He's bombing with about 20 health by the time he's eating all those pipes from Joe. This is just not the tier 2 easy we're used to seeing as a disky bombs forward, gets onto Nasboy in the lobby. He's going to crater there at the very least, but 40 seconds left from the round timer is a headline here. 1 minute 30 left on the game, of course. And... Uh, there is just nothing threatening them at all yet. Here comes the YOLO trade once again. Nasper trying to take down that sentry. Morale just getting flashed, gets sent sky high on the point, gonna get taken down at the end of that trade. And it's just a sentry for a scout. And I don't think that's a worthwhile trade for TF2 Easy, but they have to try and make something work. 20 seconds. 20 seconds is all that's left in this round time. TF2 Easy have to make it work. And they're finding kills on Tupac. A lot of damage dealt, but they're losing two players. Josh and Nikki already dead, but they don't have time. Nashboy and Junox split. It's just one soldier onto the point. Now the round time is just running out. And they're not in position at all. And the round time of six to zero. It's stalemate once again as TF2 Easy beat push after push. 45 seconds. This is looking like a done deal. GG's in chat as well. Yeah, GG's already called from TF2 Easy. They don't think they can do it either. That's just uh, June and Nikki throwing in the towel there so there we have it that's six points going the way of new panzer they pull off i suppose the upset win they are going to be taking that second seed it looks like most like maybe they could still beef their week seven game i don't actually know who that's they're playing against. witness in week seven they're playing witness in week seven okay then i think <laughs> that's six points they were always going to lose anyway but it's a don't go to mid angle just as you said with 10 seconds left they've got puck on heavy on second <laughs> <laughs> this is already <laughs> over. So there we go. GG, six points. Two six new pans are very impressive to take down both maps, both very close affairs. I suppose the first map did go to score limit eventually, but throughout it, it was so back and forth. And this 1-0 off of just TF2 Easy, not really having anything to break that last with. It's a difficult last to break well. I think a lot of teams, pretty much every single team in, in Prem, will struggle with that last point as well makes it really hard. I think they're going to have to go back to the drawing board, try to see what happens. I think especially if it's too easy, if there's anything you want to solve, it's those snake bottom mids. They yeah. just, I, I'm not sure what they're cooking. I don't know whose recipe they're following, but like maybe <laughs> find someone else. Was it 3 for O as well in the, in 
relevant mids on, on Gully Wash as well? I think it probably was, yeah. I think so, yeah. So mids just all over the place. It's yeah. Easy today. New pens are coming out on top in all of those. And neither team was had the most perfect record on last, but if two easies seemed much sloppier, you know, yeah. just double soldier sacking into a sentry twice or soldier plus spy sacking, I suppose, yeah. one time. Um, and losing both of your soldiers before that one real opportunity they had to tie up the game, which was that massive full ad yep. that they had into the last just... They had two of those. They, they had two, two of full ad pushes <laughs> in a row, and they beat both of them. Yeah, so definitely something that Tier 2 Easy needs to look at. Yeah, All right. I think so. But I'm, uh, I'm not going to try and bring logs up on this No, PC. there's like, there's no way. I'm going to get it sent to my phone. I'm going to have to manually type the URL. You guys, if you guys have logs on your screen, I applaud you. But like, let's be honest, this is a 1-0 Gully Wash game. Yeah. These logs are so boring. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Nasboy's might be nice. Nasboy was the saving grace of a lot of situations that could have gone from bad to worse by just picking up uh, random scout kills, random soldier kills that were just massively influential. But... Clearly not good enough when it matters to actually come out on top in the game. So GG's, well played to yep. New Panzer. And uh, I want to get out of this land cafe. Yeah, I think we're going to go back to a bar now um, <laughs> yeah. and drink non-alcoholic beverages. We're responsible adults. Absolutely. Um, but uh, but yeah, I just took off the headset. I had game sound, you didn't. So I actually had the round time the entire time from the, from the oh, announcer from the telling announcer me. Talking. Okay. But uh, I didn't want to ruin your immersion. Yeah. I was <laughs> just. J Max was my in game sound. I was like, <laughs> trying to pressure him into telling me the round time we're in this here. But no, yeah, we're, we're done here tonight. So I want to give a shout out to For Gaming Lounge. Is that what it's called? Maybe. Something like that. Yep. Um, uh, other than that, there are more ETS World games on Sunday. And then shout out. Uh, to my friend Misha for bringing a phone charger. Oh, now yeah. I, yeah, I, I, we're running the mumble and the webcam off my phone. My phone is on like 5% battery right now this and I is, need it to get home. Yeah, so. this is my phone's mic, so hopefully it did a good enough job. If the audio is terrible, on the I, mean, I mean, if, if the audio is terrible, that's just a LAN way. Yep, that's yep. how things go at LAN. All right, All right we're going to go get alcohol. Guys. Bye, guys.